Greetings, this is FNGR weighing in on patch 2.5, which just opened its PTR today, or the test realm. I'm happy to see that to get access to higher torments, after all this time, you have to accomplish higher solo rifts. As follows, torments 1 through 6, no requirement. Torments 7, a solo greater rift of 30. 8 requires a greater rift of 35. Torment 9 requires 40. Torment 10 requires 45, Torment 11, Greater Rift 50, Torment 12, 55, and Torment 13, Greater Rift 60. This will keep out all the sponges or severely cut back on the leechers in public games. I think it's severely late, and this should have been out a long time ago. But I'll take it now. The Barber is getting a buff back from its final explosion that Blizzard took off it. This should be interesting. I'm really stoked for something I thought that they'd never do. The Rhymeheart's proc rate is going up from 10 to 20%. I've had a Frenzy Barb non-thorns forever that ran a Rhymeheart Legacy of Nightmares build. Yes, I'm assuming I'm going to need a new Rhymeheart, but I've held that build forever, hoping that Blizzard would do something with that, so thank you. The Armory is coming, and that's going to free up some room for crafting materials. I always keep space for Arcane Dust, Lost Souls, etc. on each character's inventory, so yeah, that's a massive win. Not to mention the space it sucks up in the stash. Now we're on to what will be the most controversial add to the PTR, the Primal Ancient Items. Very simply put, if you know the buff the Ancient Items got over Legendary, well, even with bigger numbers. Ben Yahtzee said it best here. I asked someone who raids, why do you raid? To get the best items, they said. What do you use the best items for? I asked. To which they could only answer, to raid with. But it's not about items, is it? You don't honestly care if your new crystal nether sword is going to clash with your elite boss clogs. It's about the numbers. You want the items with the best numbers so you can use your numbers to decrease the enemy numbers until your numbers are the best in the land. Now, I completely understand why people are pissed. One, this is what Cold Assign's Despair was supposed to be in the first place but Blizzard kind of half-assed it. Two, if you're one of the top 1% of Diablo that loves grinding and pushing deeper and deeper, sure, it's going to suck having to grind your way back up. But yeah, at least you can push further now. Blizzard didn't tackle what the real issue is. Blizzard didn't tackle what the real issue is with Diablo 3. Stuff to do. More room is great. I love it. You get a gold star, Blizzard. Cutting back on leechers, God bless you, that's amazing. But there are a lot of things that kind of feel like you held back to trickle to us later on. And it's now later, and it feels like this should have been out maybe a patch or two earlier. And again, feel free to groan. Back in Diablo 2, you'd make builds towards performing a task. Some of those would be PvP. Not my bag, but that was something that you could do, which today you simply can't commit to and turned off a sizable portion of your fans. Speed farming builds, which we have in spades, personally, I use a Witch Doctor and a Crusader for mine. If you're there to just try out what builds work and what don't, you can easily skip over the Primal Ancient items, or at least just use the ones that you find here and there. There's Ubers, which some people have found it maddening to get a great Ancient Hellfire amulet, let alone making a Primal Ancient Hellfire amulet. Meaning, once again, the real reason to bother with Primal Ancients are Greater Rifts. The endgame is GRs. In Diablo 2, one of the ultimate achievements was defeating an uber for a torch. Now, I'm not asking for Diablo to bring back inventory stat-based items back. In fact, I'm happy as hell they're gone. With the armory, everything in my inventory sounds like it's going to be loot. Minus the gems. I saw the suggestion of an endurance mode of wave after wave of enemies, maybe throwing in some bosses, something along the lines of a realm of greed or something special where being super decked out would be beneficial. It's really nice to push for higher stats in Diablo, but it's kind of like going to the gym and only having one sport to benefit from the fruits of your labor. Variety is a must. This is FNGR. Fuck you, thank you, bye.